न्याय संहिता की धारा 106 दो में 10 साल की सजा तथा जुर्माने के प्रावधान के बारे में वाहन चालकों की चिंता का संज्ञान लिया तथा ऑल इंडिया मोटर ट्रांसपोर्ट कांग्रेस के प्रतिनिधियों से आज 2 जनवरी 2024 को विस्तृत चर्चा की सरकार ये बताना चाहती है कि ये नए कानून एवं प्रावधान अभी लागू नहीं हुए हैं The Indian government had planned to enforce a new law under the Bharatiya Nyaya Sanhita BNS related to the hit and run accidents. Still, just after a 3-day protest and road blockades by the truckers, the government has decided to pause its implementation. The law had aimed to impose strict penalties including up to 10 years in prison or a fine of up to rupees 7 lakhs on those involved in the hit and run accidents. Truckers were worried about the law because it lacked their input and consultation and they were concerned about its potential exploitation. During the protest fuel shortages occurred across the various states of India as people rushed to buy fuel due to the trucker strike against the anticipated enforcement of the Bharatiya Nyaya Sanhita. They requested the prime minister to withdraw the severe sections of the law leading to the government promise of a more inclusive approach with changes after discussions. and so here truckers have indeed won big against the government of india however many still doubt what exactly were the protest about were they even necessary well let's give you an insight to understand firstly let's understand what exactly the new law was the new law also known as the hit and run law had intended to address hit and run accidents in india aiming to reduce approximately 50000 deaths that occur annually due to such incidents It had proposed severe penalties including up to 10 years of imprisonment and a 7 lakh rupees fine applicable to both commercial and private vehicle owners. However, under the new law drivers who had remained at the accident scene and had aided the victims wouldn't have to face such stringent penalties. However, those who fled without providing assistance or informing the police could be tracked down and charged with a criminal offense. Truckers feared about exploitation through this law and believed that their high fines could lead to financial hardships. They thought that the law might discourage people from helping accident victims due to the fear of severe penalties. Also, the crowd alongside the accident site might attack the trucker. And so, the protest broke out in parts of the nation. Trucker bodies such as the AIMTC also joined the chorus calling the government to seek consultation first. and it appears the calls have been heard the protest by truckers resulted in government postponing the implementation of the hit and run law allowing for further discussions and modifications to address the concerns of the trucking community and ensure a fair and practical approach to the handling of the hit and run cases across india subscribe to one india channel and never miss an update